Hey guys, welcome to Zawski TV Recap channel. Today I'm going to recap a 1998 animated film called Bugs Life. There are heavy spoilers ahead, so watch out and take care. Ant Island is a small area in grassy hills surrounded by a little stream. Every year, a colony of ants is expected to harvest food for a biker gang-like bunch of greedy grasshoppers. The anxious princess Atta is being trained by her mother, the queen, to take her place all the while worrying about pleasing the oncoming horde. Her younger sister Dot is tired of being mocked by the other children for being small and unable to fly yet due to her wings being too small. Then there's Flick is an inventor whose creations usually do more harm than good. While trying out a mechanical harvester, he accidentally hurls a wheat stock onto Atta and rushes over to apologize. Atta tries to reason with the misfit who makes her a telescope for when she is queen and thorny. A member of the royal council confronts him and tells him to go and pick rain like the other worker. Flick sadly heads back to the wheat forest and Dot follows, saying she is impressed by his inventions. Flick feels discouraged and doubts if he will ever make a difference and Dot expresses her own insecurity saying she is too little. Flick tries to make his new friend feel better by showing her a metaphor of how like a tiny seed takes time to become a giant tree. We have potential to do great things in time. Suddenly, the alarm to finish harvesting and rush into the ant hill sounded and the colony frantically finishes their work and hides in a corridor for when the grasshopper enjoy the offering in peace. After Flick puts the grain he collected onto the offering stone, he drops his machine which knocks the pile of food into a stream just before the grasshoppers arrive. Flick is about to tell Atta when the grasshoppers bash through the ceiling and drop in. Their leader, Hopper, gives the ants the rest of the season to make good on what they owe, but orders a double ration of food after Flick stands up to him in defense of Dot, who was being threatened to Hopper's thunder. After the gang leaves, Flick is admonished by the colonel's royal council, and Flick suggests that he try to recruit some warrior bugs to fight the grasshoppers. Atta allows him to do so, but only to keep him out of the way. Reaching the insect city, made of garbage and other human objects, Flick enters a bar and spots a group of unemployed circus bugs, whose latest performance had just ended in a disaster. They are harassed by a group of flies who have previously been confronted by one of the clowns, a ladybug, after they mistake him for being a female. The three clowns decide to fight back by putting on the Robin Hood act, having Flick mistaken them for the tough bugs he was looking for. However, the flies frighten the circus bugs into running for the wall and rolling the can. At the same time, they believe him to be a talent scout who wants to cook their act. They return to the colony, much to Atta's surprise, and are immediately greeted as heroes who can end the grasshopper threat. After watching a gritty play put on by the ant children, the group realizes with horror what they are really wanted for. They send Rosie, the lion tamer, to tell Flick what they really are, and he panics, dispassionately excusing himself and the group to supposedly plan out a strategy to fight off the grasshoppers, which in turn arouses Atta's suspicion. When Flick and the troop are far enough from the others, the troop begins to leave, but Flick begs them to stay, saying that they would never let him live it down if the colony learns of his mistake. Atta brings the queen and the council over to see what Flick is up to, only to find them being attacked by a hungry bird. Dot, who was also curious about what Flick could be up to, gets caught in the chaos, and Flick and the Circus Bugs band together to save her and escape the bird's reach. Atta begins to think that the troop may stop the grasshoppers after all and apologizes for being rude to Flick. She gives Flick the idea and he bolted off to tell the troop. The princess starts to find herself falling in love with Flick and the feeling is mutual. Since Hopper is afraid of birds due to him almost getting eaten by one years ago, Flick's idea is that the colony and the six bugs would build life-sized artificial bird to scare the grasshoppers away for good. The plan is presented by the six bugs, so the royal council believe that the warriors came up with this idea. When the bird is finished, it is placed inside a hollow area of the island's tree and the colony celebrates its awaited victory. 
at the Grasshopper's Gang's hideout, Hopper's brother Malt is sweet talked by a couple of skeptical Grasshoppers into telling the leader that it would be best not to go to the island since they have more than enough food stored and the rainy season is near. Hopper reminds him and the gang that if they do not keep the ants living in fear, the ants might use their superior number 100 to 1, he estimates, to run the Grasshoppers out of the colony for good. The gang sets out for the island to collect their due. During the party back at the Ant Island, Sex Ringmaster P.T. Flea arrives looking for his missing performers and exposes the truth. The colony is devastated, believing the bird turned out to be a waste of time. Upset at Flick's deception, Atta orders him exiled from the colony, while the other ants hide the bird to pretend it never happened and rush to collect whatever food they can for Hopper. They are unable to meet the double quota he set. And when the gang arrives, Hopper takes over the ant hill and forces the ants to bring him all the food on the island. While Dot leads the blueberries to their hidden clubhouse for safety, she overhears the gang's plans to kill the queen once they have all the food and after a tangle with Thumber, she sprouts her wings and catches up with Flick and the two. She persuades them to return and put the bird plan into action with help from her and the rest of the blueberry scouts. However, Flick is entirely discouraged and says that the colony was right about him. He is shaken out of these doubts when Dot reminds him of the sea to tree metaphor. Back at the island, Flick instructs the troop to distract the grasshoppers with the show while he and the blueberries climb up to the bird. Manny the Magnificent and his lovely assistant Gypsy put on a magic act to sneak the queen away so she wouldn't be there to get squished by Hopper. Then the birds launched from out of the tree, supported by a cable, and swoops over the bunch, causing a panic as the ants and the circus bugs create fake wounds with bear juice. The plan goes greatly until PT intervenes and sets the model on fire with lighter to stop its terror. Enraged at Flick's attempt to fight back, Hopper sends Thumber to beat him and talks down to the ants. Flick managed to stand up and rally the other ants saying that the grasshopper depends on their extorted food for their own survival. The entire colony swarms against the gang, forcing all except Hopper to leave. They shove him into a circus cannon to shoot him away, but the rains arrive and cause the ants to retreat into the ant hill. Hopper shoots himself out of the cannon, grabs Flick and flies off, intent on killing him. Atta rescues Flick and the two lure Hopper towards the bird's nest. Hopper corners Flick and starts strangling him, revealing his intention of returning to the colony with more grasshoppers. Flick is saved when the bird appeared, picks up Hopper and feeds him to her baby chicks. The following spring, the colony adopts Flick's harvester to speed up grain collection. Atta becomes the new queen, passes her princess crown to Dot and chooses Flick as her mate. As the troop leaves, Slim notes that they have forgotten Himmlish, who emerges from Chrysalis in which he has encased himself. He pops out with a tiny pair of butterfly wings, far too small to lift him off the ground. But he is picked up by Francis and Manny. The six packs departs with the colonist tanks. Dot joins by Queen Atta and Flick, who are shown holding hands, waves goodbye. With this, the movie ends. Hope you have enjoyed the recap. See you soon with the recap of a new movie. Till then, stay happy and chill out.